welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. <laughs> Today's show, I don't even know what to expect, but we're going to make it work. I know I have this weird, like, light going right across there. It's like a lightsaber from Star Wars. I don't even know where it's coming from because I I got nothing, folks. I've got I, no, no lights around. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> My shades are shut. Just so creepers can't be peeping by. I don't know. But if you're watching, like, right here, I look like, oh, it's protecting my throat chakra. Oh, ooh, how pleasant is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. So, y'all. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so there's a siren going off in the background. I did not sleep last night, and we've got a special light going over my throat. <laughs> What's going on in today's show? What's about to go down? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> Am I about to be Dorothy and Wizard of Oz up into where did she go? I don't even remember right now where Dorothy went in the Wizard of Oz. It wasn't Kansas. I think she was from Kansas. <laughs> I don't know. Who cares? Okay. I'm moving right along here. Shuffling on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you guys. It's going to be a show. So, okay, if you, this is your first time joining us, I would like to thoroughly apologize for that intro. My name is Tony Green. I'm a psychic medium. I've been a psychic medium for as long as I can remember. Um, didn't understand it as a child. Got me in a lot of trouble. I mean, we're talking big buttloads of trouble when I was a child. That siren is not going away. Um, so I just need to apologize, folks, um, for the siren. Um, but that's the kind of trouble it got me in when I was a kid. Yep. And um, and then it wasn't until after my third near-death experience that I started, I had to change careers and I started doing hypnosis and I was just willy nilly -ing messages to people after their sessions that they were like, hey, we want more of that. And I was like, really? <laughs> All right. And here I am today. And that's it. That's the that's pretty much the story. And clearly there's a lot more to it than that. But that's the gist of the story. Now um if you <clears throat> have a question you would like to call in and ask a question, 845-277-9131 is the call-in number. And uh, you can ask a question. You can connect with a loved one on the other side. If you are in the chat on YouTube, <clears throat> you can ask a question there. I am going to tell you that chat is live. We have right now we have Mimi Fawn. Heather, Patrick, Genevieve, hey, you guys, thanks for joining in the in the live. And if you do want to join the show live, it's every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. And uh, yes, that is <clears throat> what it is, y'all. What's up? <laughs> Can a player just get... I don't know if he says a touch or some love. I'm feeling like it's not love. I just feel like he's like, can a player just get a touch? I, I don't know. I shouldn't be licking my fingers. There are people out there cringing right now. Oh, my God. She licked her finger. It's my finger. You'd be amazed where these babies go. <laughs> like, no, like, you know, cooking and cleaning. and <laughs> Keep it clean, folks. <laughs> Oh, today's show, where we will go, nobody knows. <laughs> Apparently, we just went there, though. Um, okay, so the the thank you, Heather. The clearing on TikTok today was for narcissistic abuse and damage. So if you are a person who was ever with any narcissist, let's just say an older sister who shall not... 
shall not be named or um, partner or friends even. Um, if you were ever with a narcissistic person and you experienced any damage and they're, they're realizing like there's a lot of, um, there can be brain damage and physical, emotional PTSD damage from being in a narcissist, being with a narcissist or in a narcissistic situation, the clearing and healing on today's, um, TikTok, which is at Psychic Tony, is for narcissistic abuse and damage. Now, I am going to tell you, I did this last night on about five or six people. Hey, Mimi. I don't know if I said hi to Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Um, and it went very, very quickly during that healing and or clearing. And so I don't know for each person, you might have to pin that clearing, but um, uh, uh, mm, Heather on YouTube is now asking for a clearing for a toxic relationship, not feeling guilty about getting away from it and strength. Okay, so this is where we're going to start the show. And I love this because it is true. And we just went through an eclipse, which we're closing out things that did not work and moving into things that will. So um, I, I want to make sure I uh, I state this correctly. Um, let's just blanket this. All guilt has been cleared, healed, and released. And we're going to clear, heal, and release this. And um, we are strong. I get a no. Let's clear that to a yes. All of uh, your energy has been brought back to you and their energy has been taken to them. I get a no. Let's clear that to a yes. And then the last one is um, we, we are strong enough to walk away from what is no longer working. And I get a no, let's clear that to a yes. Okay, there we go. Um, feel free to come back and listen to that as many times as needed. Share it with people who may want and or need it. Um, in a moment, I'm going to take calls. If you would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Again, you can ask questions, connect with a loved one on the other side. Before I do that, I need to give some messages and songs from the other side because, hmm? yes. <laughs> you guys, do you see that? This is not some funky tan, like whew, that bar of light right over my throat chakra. Crazy if I move back. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's a shadow. It must be a shadow. Okay, it's not a light. It's a shadow. It's the weirdest shadow that just goes here, though. Okay, here we go. Um, the first song I am hearing, and I've heard this song before on the show, is Elvira. Elvira, giddy up. A boom pop, a boom pop, a mau mau. I can't think of any other words, but that's the song I'm hearing. So if and the way the songs work is if um if this was a song of somebody you loved on the other side, if it's a song that they knew you loved or you listened together, or it could just be the answer to a question. And then I'm hearing that song, Love Don't Live Here Anymore. And it's um I don't know the words to it, but that's just the part that they're telling me. And I'm sorry. And thank goodness I don't know the words because then you don't have to suffer through me singing it. There's the blessing in all of that. And then um, the next song that I'm hearing is um, it's by a big hair band. And I can see them playing. And I hear, I just hear Ratatouille. <sighs> I don't, I don't know. If anybody knows what that means, tell me what that means. Rat, does, was there a big hair band that had a song called Ratatouille? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I'm moving right along now. Shuffling, oh, shuffling on, shuffling on. Um, the next song I am hearing is um, 
uh, that song one more time and that is not even how it goes one more it's uh, one more like can we try one one more time i i cannot even get the beat the tune on any song let alone this song i can hear it perfectly in my head that is not how it comes out of my mouth okay 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 um but that it just uses that that line one more time and then um the next song and i don't know how many more songs there are going to be but the next song is um it starts out it goes hello stranger it's been a long time and the guy who sings it is like super deep voice <laughs> And I don't, I think those are the words. I don't know if those are the words, but those are the words I'm getting. <laughs> Maybe it's hello, darling. I don't know. But like it's been all, it's more of a country song. I don't know. Um, but that is what I'm hearing. And then that song by Blake Shelton. Old Red, like that dog that guarded the prisoners and then... He hooked the dog up with another dog and escaped prison. I don't know. Go listen to the song, old friend. <laughs> Where is this show going today? Oh, my goodness. I don't even know. Oh, my God. Uh, one more time. I Heather says, we need to celebrate. We do. Yes, we need to celebrate. Celebrate. And that's, yeah, okay, so I'm going to go to callers now. Again, if you'd like to call in or ask a question online, please, uh, please, by all means, do so. Um, I am going to go, is there, okay, I'm going to go to 312, 312, what's your name, where are you calling from? Hey, my name is uh, Brian, I'm calling out of Chicago. Hey, Brian, your auntie's here. I mean, you, as soon as I hit 312, she's like, voomp, on my right shoulder going, let's talk. <laughs> Every single time. What's going on, Brian? <laughs> I, I like to uh, connect uh, to someone on the other side. Okay, who would you like to connect to? Uh, her name is uh, Josephine, but I call her Auntie Josie for her living. Okay, is that the woman that comes, it has been here before for you and she was a little fuller or thicker, thick, what, thicker than a snicker? I don't know, that just came to me. I'm so sorry if that's inappropriate, but that's the statement she just gave me. Well, if, if your Auntie Josephine was not thicker, then there's somebody here also who was a little bit thicker. So, um, I'm going to just let you answer that before I walk myself into a hole and they throw dirt on it. That's all I'm saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said uh, she was thick. It, there's a, there's a woman here who is a little fuller. I mean, I'm not saying she wasn't obese by any means, but she is a little bit full. So she's thick. She keeps using the word thick. But was that, is that your Auntie Josephine or was your Auntie, jo did your Auntie Josephine have a different body frame style? Uh, I would say that, that that could be her. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you, Brian, there are not one, not two, but at least three people here for you, two women and a man. And they are all like, they're using the term large and in charge, showing up and showing out. They are here to help you make your next move. They want to tell you that there are some changes coming in that are going to be um, very empowering to you. And uh, Brian, I'm going to interrupt their message really quick because I have to ask you, did one of your relatives have something with their head? Now, this could be anything from they like a stroke to a uh, something that happened like I don't want to say a GSW I want to say that full term on air but if you know what that means you know what it means something to the head because I have this yes, uh, cancer 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Because I have this pain in my head that won't go away. And which relative was that? Uh, that was my grandfather on my mom's side. Okay, so that must be the man that's standing here. And then there are two two women with him. And one of them is your auntie, uh, is Josephine. And then there's another woman here that was pretty, pretty thin towards the end. So they're all here together. And okay, so thank you for confirming that. Because now that I said that, it was very important for him to make sure you knew that. Because now that I said that, the pain has gone away in my head. So that he that was his way of letting you know he's here. Okay, so the biggest thing I want to say, they want to say to you is there's a big move coming in for you. Don't be afraid to make this move. Sometimes the things that we fear the most are the things that we need the most. Sometimes that that step we're afraid to take is the step that leads us to the next big thing in our life. I feel like whatever it is that you've been wanting to venture off and start, it's like um, now, now is the time. Now is the time. I do feel like whatever work, excuse me, whatever work you're going to be doing, there's going to be something on the side that you're also going to be doing. So this work is going to be like you're going to have your what people call your nine to five or your guaranteed, you know, 40, whatever it is. But you're going to start something on the side if you and if you already have something that you do on the side, something else is coming in that is also going to be like a side. And then they're singing the song. Do the hustle. Do, 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 do. So your side hustle. Ha 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 ha. They're so creative. Um, so you're gonna have another side thing. If you already have one side thing, this is gonna be a side thing that adds to the side thing you already have. If you don't already have a side thing, it's going to be a, a side thing that is coming in and is going to allow you to be um, empowered. And okay, so I need to ask you something, Brian, and I don't want you to give up too many details on the radio. Is there something, or radio, on the show, I'm sorry, folks, I said it, this is TV, radio, and podcast. So on the air, let's just use air. Okay, um, is there something you have been thinking about doing on the side and and that could be your own now I'm getting two things and one of them is like you possibly being a bartender or something like that or something with drinks something with drinks and I, I don't know if you make a special if you if you if you want to make a special sort of tequila or you have an idea for a vodka with some special potatoes. I don't know. Don't, don't. I am so goofy today, folks. I am so sorry. Um, but I'm just getting, is there so, okay, let me just stop there. And, and it could be just a beverage. It doesn't have to be an alcohol beverage. Is it, or a cocktail? Is there something with that, that you've been thinking of? Or is this hitting something inside of you? Like, yeah, okay. That, that makes sense. I wouldn't say drinking, but I would say more so uh, starting my nonprofit motivational um, business. Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, all these things. Seriously, oh my gosh. As soon as you said that, all these things just flashed into my vision. Um, here's what I'm going to say. Um, if the opportunity comes for you to be a bartender at events or something like that, take it. It will be really good money, okay, if that opportunity pops up. It doesn't have to be at a bar. It can be working for a catering company or something along those lines. Now, And they only serve so many drinks, so you don't even have to worry about knowing the whole line. But you'll make really good money 
doing something along those lines if you want. Now, as far as the motivational business, you need to start that like six months ago, like seriously. And you know that, but you've been putting it off, putting it off because you are not motivated. Ha, 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 ha. Sorry, um, I'm going to clear anything stopping you or blocking you from doing this, from getting this started. And I know what I'm seeing. I, and I don't know if this is where you're thinking of going with it. But the, you can have three sectors or three departments of this motivational business is what I'm getting. There could be three different areas of this business. And one of them is um, working with teens and preteens and helping them become entrepreneurs. And even, oh my gosh, I don't even want to say all of this on the air. Um, just working with teens and preteens on becoming entrepreneurs and staying motivated and keeping them, you know, it, on, on that path. And then even integrating, and I know this is a lot of information and probably a lot more information than you are looking for, but I'm just going to tell you, if you work with somebody from the military, I just see somebody, and I don't know if you were in the military, but I see somebody in a military uniform and if that that's you, great. But I, were you ever in the military, Brian? I'm sorry, no, I was in the military. You, I'm sorry, you were or you were not? I were not. Okay, then there's somebody in, the, there's the potential. Thank you for answering that. There's the potential for you to team up with somebody in the military for part of this nonprofit. And they will also work with some of the people that are coming in that you're going to be working with. And then you're going to have this whole other area that is the, the main area. And these are branches off of it. But you need to start this sooner rather than later. Um, don't... Um, don't hold yourself back, right? Don't hold yourself back. If you need to get, I'm seeing so many things. Like one of the things is like, just start a motivational quote once a week on social media or start this or start that, but just start doing it. Like rent a hall and put out flyers. I don't know, do whatever you need to do to start this now, however you want it to be, because it is going to grow and become what you want it to be. It's, it is going to be what you want it to be. You just have to take that first step. I hope that makes sense to you. And yeah, you, you, you probably will be working another position while you do this, but it's okay because you're going to be able to do both very easily, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. I know that was a lot of information and kind of a little bit all over the place, but within, if you take your steps within six months, they're saying within four months, within four weeks, four months, I'm saying within six, it'll all make sense to you, okay? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, Brian, I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. Thank you so much for calling in. I do want you to know that you. all of your loved ones are helping you at this time to put everything in place, okay? Okay. Thank you again for calling in. I look Thank you so you're welcome, and I look forward to next time. Okay, I am going to go to the next caller. If you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. If you would like a private session, the number is, uh, or the 
go you can go to my site www.tonig.info here we go to the next person 443 443 what's your name and where are you calling from hi ashley from baltimore hey ashley how can i help you today hi tony um i'm just calling because um I got a divorce last year, and my ex, now ex-husband, um, he's acting strange again. So <laughs> sometimes he wants to go parent amicably, and then now he's acting weird again. So I'm just trying to get some clarity on what is really going on with him, and will we ever get to a truly good place? Okay, I instantly parenting. Okay. Um thank you. Thank you so much for your question. I instantly get two answers and they should make sense to you even if they don't make sense to anybody else. And before I answer your question, just for the sake of anybody who's that person, I'm not a medical doctor and I'm not prescribing anything. Okay. Here's what I'm going to tell you. The first answer I got is that something is going on in his life. It could be a new person or some, some kind of family dynamic on his end is going on. But the second mm -hmm. answer I got was medication. Now, I'm going to say this quickly, but I'm going to say it. Medication can mean one of like 20 things. And I'm going to run down that list for you very quickly. Medication could mean he needs to be on a medication or he's misusing a medication or he's been prescribed a medication that he's taking the wrong dosage of, or he could be taking something from the streets, or it could be that um, he has an imbalance that has not been addressed as of yet. And let's remember, it could also be alcohol that he's using to medicate himself. This can be anything that he's self-medicating with, any medication that is being used or abused, any medication that is not the right amount, something he's supposed to be taking that he's not. He could, any anything with medication, that's a second term. I feel like he goes through these times. And if you think back to your marriage and relationship, he just goes through these times where his personality or his demeanor or um, behaviors tend to change a bit. And um, during that time, it's very difficult to have him be show up as he um, as as he normally would. That's the most delicate way I can put that. Um, mm -hmm. Now, sometimes people can go for years and they know how to camouflage some of their personality or behavioral disorders. And I'm not saying this is him. I'm just saying you know better than I do and you know what's true. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes you need to be out of the situation with the person before you truly recognize the pattern even. Because when you're in the situation, you're just so busy trying to survive it or get through it that you don't even recognize the pattern. And then once you're out of the situation, you start to see, oh my gosh, now it's like this again. Oh my goodness, now it's like that again. I think over the next six months, you're going to realize um, a lot of the issues during the relationship were due to whatever is going on right now in his life. And that being something kind of within him. Um, so if I were to put it another way, for example, 
if there is some kind of personality thing going on, you're going to start to see that so much more clearly now. Does this make sense to you at all? Yes. If it's well, kind of. It's I've been wondering, but I've never really noticed that when we were like married, but it seems like after the divorce there has been a change. Um obviously I know that's a lot of heartbreak and there's a lot of things going on there and then he started seeing this other girl who does have um you know personality issues um and it seems like that's either exacerbated it or i don't know okay this is why i'm calling that Mm. because it's just Mm -hmm. just trying to get some clarity okay so i'm going to thank you so much for clarifying that with me so the first message was it could be uh, uh something going on with somebody else or somebody in the family and then it went into this personality disorder thing. I'm going to say two things. And um, this is the one and only, if you are a very sensitive person and you don't like to hear certain messages, as I start to say this message, if it's comfortable for you to mute it, mute it. But I'm saying the message, it is what it is. Um, Okay. I could have been picking up on her personality disorder and that's what's affecting it. And, and that is, you know, a very likely thing that I'm picking up. There's a personality disorder. I would have maybe assumed it was his, but really it's hers. And maybe he doesn't want the children around when she is being, you know, the way she is being. The second thing I will say is when we are with someone and everybody shout out on this one, if you know this to be true or not, when we are with somebody, especially intimately, we start to pick up their energy and some of their stuff. It's when we're with someone, we start to have an energy exchange. So we can start, and again, if this is too sensitive for some people, I apologize, but it is a fact, and it's better to know this and to protect yourself than to be willy-nilly blind about it. Um, We can start to pick up their energy. Like if if you've ever noticed somebody who was really happy-go-lucky and then they ended up with somebody who was maybe depressed and they started to present as depressed, That's that other person's energy and their energy meshing, okay? And then as soon as they're away from that person, yes, exactly, right, right. It's and and you don't. That's what my intuition was telling me. But um, what do we do? What is there anything that I can do um, about that? Yes and no. Okay. Yes, there's always something you can do about it. And the first thing I hear is uh, protect the children at all costs. Okay, at all costs, protect the children. Mm-hmm. First and foremost, let them know. Um, they you know, are, and they can no longer be around the girl. Exa- the girl's been removed from the home. Okay, so then the, that's from good. his home, so she can't be around them anymore. Okay, so then, and and be honest with them to a point of, you know what, sometimes people just, you know, to delicate, be honest in a delicate way with them about her. Okay. Um, Second, um, (laughs) good. (laughs) And you seem, I'm I'm, sorry, I have. I'm going to say, you seem. I think, I think, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. I think what I'm saying is because even though we are divorced, I still love and care about him well being as their father, you know, and we used to be friends. So I think my concern is just more of I see this change, you know, in him. He's still a great dad, but I can see a change in him. You know what I mean? And I just want to know if there's anything with me seeing it, you never want to see somebody on a train that's headed for disaster so I'm just asking if there's any anything that I can do to help or assist 
I don't know. <laughs> I get I don't it. Know. I'm just you know what? To get the clarity. I 100% get it. Just because we're not with somebody, it doesn't mean, you know, we're mature adults. Something doesn't work out. We still have love and caring for them. I'm going to say this. Um, I, I'm not allowed right now to do a clearing on the situation for him because there's something he, I can't, I'm being told I can't intervene on his situation. Otherwise I would like right away start clearing that. And I'm being told don't intervene, uh -huh. which everybody who knows me knows like, I will start clearing something before they even say anything. And they're saying, no, 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 no. Don't intervene. This has to it, it, steady the course. Let this run its course. And part of this mm -hmm. that's going on with him and her and more likely him is him to pull himself out and to be in a better place. So I'm asking them right now if I can actually do a clearing to uh, help him with his kids in some way and they're saying yes yeah. so i'm 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 waiting for the exact verbiage that i need because we never want the children to whatever so what i'm getting right now is that what i'm allowed to clear what i'm allowed to say is he has a healthy loving relationship and shows up timely for his children. So we're going to clear that to a yes. When he's with his children, his full attention and is with them. And we're going to clear that to a yes. And when he's with his children, it's an extremely healthy dynamic. And we're going to clear that to a yes. And I, I don't know how you feel about right now, but I'm feeling just like a lot of pressure on this situation. Now I'm going to tell you, you should notice a difference within a week. And if this changes in any way, again, being in somebody's energy, he can, we can revert back. And, you know, I'm going to say one other, but first I want to finish this. Yeah. Um, it should change within a week. You should notice a difference. Now the relationship between you and him has to be on halt right now a little bit. I mean, you can communicate, but it can't be that thing because you can't be the reason why he's making choices or decisions. You're not allowed to put the same way I can't intervene. You're not supposed to intervene into this situation either. So they're saying right okay. now, you're just kind of being um, held on the sidelines while he figures this out himself, because in the end, he's going to have to make choices and he's going to have to know that he's the only one responsible for these choices. Now, sometimes we get involved with a person that does have some issues. It's happened to each and every one of us at some point, whether it was a friend, a family member, a lover, whatever it is. And we feel we take on a sense of responsibility that we we can fix them we can help heal them or we don't mm -hmm. want them to in any way do something that's harmful and what he needs to work through right now are some of those feelings so of course right away I'm asking can I heal that that's a solid no, folks. <laughs> they are really saying he has to walk. The, and there are some things that we just sign up for on the other side and we have to walk that road. Can I at least clear he can see it clearly? Yes. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, my God. Finally. Yeah. Okay. He can see this situation with this other person. Clearly, I get a no and I'm going to clear that. And I'm going to tell you, it's so toxic because when I get that feeling like I'm going to throw up, it's such a toxic situation. <sighs> and yeah. um, all that toxicity is, it, 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 can we remove? Nope, I can't do that either. <laughs> oh, they are like, they are tying my hands up behind my back. Like they are the popo right now. I am just saying, <laughs> they are like, no, oh this is something he needs. He, like they keep saying he needs to walk this walk. He needs to see it. So with what okay. we've done so far 
is what I'm allowed to do. Now, I'm going to do a clearing for you, anybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching, that we have clarity and grace in every parental situation. And I'm going to clear that to a yes. And don't get me wrong, beautiful woman. I know you have clarity. I know you have grace. I know you have been handling this with dignity and respect, especially with your children. And then I'm I, I'm hearing there's a clearing for your children. So before I work on children, I always say, can I clear that your children completely understand and don't take any of this personally? Yes, please. Okay. Her children completely understand. I'm getting a no. Let's clear that to a yes. They're taking it personally. I'm getting a yes. Let's clear that to a no. And that is that is um, a very difficult. But after this, they'll have clear. They have clarity. Let's give them. Uh, let's download all the clarity they need for this situation. Bring clarity and love in understanding. And always give mama the right words. And this is for anybody in a parental situation that they're trying to figure out these dynamics because, you know, the thing we want is our children to always be in a healthy dynamic with both parents. And we, we because we love our children, no matter what we think about the ex-partner, we want our children to be have a healthy dynamic with both parents parents and um yes and that is so important and so we're just going to allow that to clear i feel it lightning i feel it going up 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 oh okay loving that okay perfect okay I feel like that is going to be very helpful for you. Please do call back and keep us updated on this. And anytime you have any other question or anything, and your grandmama, your grandmama, I don't know what you called her. I hear grandmama is, I don't know if you called her mama uh -huh. or grandmama just stepped in and she was proper and she was fierce in case you're wondering which one she was proper and she was fierce and she was no fuss, no muss. No fuss, no muss. And she just stepped in and she says, I, she is helping with this situation. There's, and she's saying there's a, there, there's a de delegating, they're delegating. There's a delegation going on or they're, and they're delegating resources to this. So it, even though I'm not allowed to, to like put my little, on this, you know, they're doing it from their perspective without intervention from you because that's just the way it has to be done right now. And sometimes that is the case. And I respect everything they will say and do. Okay, love. Um, <clears throat> I am going to let you okay. know that within a month's time, this is going to be better. I feel like somebody who's involved in this situation will be completely removed from the situation within a month's time. Within a month's time, they okay. will be completely out of the picture. Um, and I'm going to say this, and I don't know, I'm going to explain it after I say it. I do see that somebody there might be some involvement with the authorities because I'm seeing like a, like a holding cell type of thing. I don't know if this is just like a, okay, we're going to write you this ticket or, okay, we're going to come in. I don't know what, I don't want to know what, but I feel like that's going to be the final straw. So if that has not already happened or, and, and let's pray it doesn't happen. Let's just pray that doesn't come in because who well, knows? that has happened. Oh, okay. So I'm seeing some folks. You see, I don't know if what I'm seeing sometimes is from the past or the future, but it has happened. I feel it's like fairly recent, though. It's fairly recent, but okay, it may have something to do with what you're finalizing here. Yes, yes. and I do feel like whatever comes from this, whatever comes from that, is going to be it. That's going to be it, and I do feel like. I feel like whatever, okay, here's the way I'm going to say this. Whatever they decided, whatever was said, whatever was done, 
somebody's going to violate that. And then that's really going to be it. Like, um, I hear that song, one, two, three strikes, you're out. So I feel like there might be, there could be, and you know, everybody has free will. As it sits right now, somebody might go against what's already been said, and then there will need to be possibly some paperwork, like a restraining order, perhaps, or something like that put into place. And from there, that will be like the beginning of the very end end. Um, so, and within a month, within a month, I feel like this is all going to happen within a month or at that month time. And I feel like with the full moon, there will be, with the next full moon, there will be a complete shutdown of this by force or by choice, by force or by choice. Mm. So if sh this person doesn't choose to skedaddle, it, they're going to get the smackdown of their life from from spirit and authorities. That's all. That's what I'll say on that. But it'll be over and things will be back to a better situation for him and his children. Okay, love. Okay. Whew. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for that. Oh, you're so welcome. And I'm going to tell you, anything that he may have thought about you not being like whatever, he's really rethinking that and and knowing what a wonderful person you are now. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like sometimes we think the grass is greener. No, that's just the candy coating on the nuts, folks. <laughs> that's just a green candy coating on some nuts over there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not being insensitive. I'm being funny, which to many people is the same thing. And I can't help you if you think that. But I'm just trying to tell jokes all day long to bring some love and laughter, folks. So <laughs> laugh, cry, do whatever you want. Just, just know the grass sometimes is greener because it's candy coating on some nuts. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, love. Thank you. Well, then maybe that'll explain why you're so salty towards me now. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Thank when me. you realize you let go of the better prize for the prize, you can kind of be like, <laughs> so yeah, but you know what, I do feel like that dynamic is, the the, the whole dynamic is going to get better, he's a little bit salty right now, because things just are not working out the way he had hoped they would, okay, okay, thank you so, so much. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. My pleasure. I hope, and I, I know things are going to be better soon. I hope it's smooth until they do get better. Okay, love. Okay. I appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you too, love. We will talk again soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm going to do one more. 262. 262. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Amy. Hey, I knew it was you. How are you? <laughs> Hi. Um, yeah. How so can I, I didn't prepare a question, but I guess I'm wondering, can I ask if anyone has a message for me? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can. I'm, I'm just, you know what, Amy, I'm just going to tell you this. Um, there are some powerful changes coming into your life. You're going to have some good. When they say powerful, they mean good changes. Don't think something bad is coming in. Some very powerful changes coming into your life. There's a diplomatic difference coming in. And uh, what that could mean is that the way you handle things in the future could be very diplomatic or somebody's going to come in and handle some situations going on in your life in a very diplomatic way. I do feel like some of the people who have been a thorn in your side are going to be uh, pulled further out of your existence, meaning uh, you won't 
have as much interaction or thinking about them. Sometimes people are are already out of our life, but we still have those memories of them or those um, thoughts of them or those uh, triggers of them. I either that that's that's going to be pulled away, or people who have been kind of to you lately are going to be uh, pulled out. They're going to be separated from you. Um, and not in a bad way. It's just going to happen very naturally. And I also feel like you're going to have some very good um, luck or good karma coming in that is going to be balancing some scales for you. You're going to be going into a situation where you are having both hands open and both hands filled. And this is over the next six months to a year. Please be doing your due diligence of taking steps forward and listening to your um, your messages. Remember, people on the other side are not as they were when they were here. Once they lose their uh, meat suit or their flesh, they go to the other side and they're just pure love and they just want to help us make it through this journey in the best possible, strongest possible way. So they want you, that's that's what actually they want you to know today. Uh, so call on your ancestors, call on your loved ones, um, have them help you to bring in all those things that you want and be actively asking and receiving what you truly want. Okay, love? Oh, okay. Excellent. Huh. That was nice. I like that. That was lovely. <laughs> that was just lovely. <laughs> yes, it was. Amy, I hope that was helpful for you. I really do. Um, so that, that awesome. Yes, I love that. I love that message for you. I love that. Amy, thank you so much for calling in. I hope that that was helpful and I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm encouraged. Excellent. As you should be. As you should be. Okay. We will talk soon, love. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, everyone. Hey, Sally. Hey, Ann. Ann wants to know what going to be in my future. What do you see happening? Okay, Ann, that's a pretty vague question. If you could like... Um, hone that in a little bit um, that like your future is like years and years and years. Um, so that if you could just make that a little bit more direct, Sally, is Noah the right person for me to be with relationship wise or is there someone else out there for me? Okay. So Sally, first of all, there's always someone else. Um, here's what I'm going to tell you. Everyone who comes into our life comes to help heal and or teach us. And I always, always say this. If you're not growing in love, you're growing apart. Okay. As long as you are growing in love, like learning more about love, learning more, not only with him, but in general, growing in love that's where you want to be. And I'm going to say every relationship has its ups and downs and complications. Relationships are not always easy. They shouldn't always be difficult. Um, there's a certain, you know, amount of understanding and um, patience we need to have with anyone, even friends. Um, but as long as you are both working toward the same goal and wanting the same things for the future, yes. And please take your time. If this is the person that you're going to be with, there's no rush. You know, it, like there's no rush. I'm not saying like you can take, you know, five years to just you know, see where it's going to go, but you can, <laughs> oh, spirit, you are freaking hilarious. <laughs> um, but you, you should 
be moving forward in an appropriate and comfortable pace for both of you. I do want to remind everybody, I have new programs started. My first program listed on my site is um, a Create the Body You Want, a Weight Reduction, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O is my website. You can go there and get all of the details. It's six sessions of hypnosis and healing and suggestions to help you achieve your ideal body, what you want to look like. Okay. Um, Anne says, like thing happened. Anne, um, Anne, uh, hey, Mar Maris, um, how are you? And here's what I'm going to tell you. I, I really... Um, I can't, I, I, that, that question is still vague. It's, it's too open-ended and, um, I don't, I, it's just a little vague for me, especially when I have like two minutes left on the show. I'm so sorry if I start going into what's going to happen for you in your future, your, your whole future, it's going to be a bit much. So um, perhaps on the next show, you could please come come with a, a more concrete or like a, a a more direct, I don't know how to say it, because I'm really tired right now. But so yeah. Um, anyway, sorry, folks. Um, I'm going to say this, I'm, I'm going to say this to each and every one of you. I love you so much. If you have somebody in your life you care about, please let them know that you love them. Please tell people the good things about them. Even if you think they would already know you feel that way or think that way, tell them anyway. Tell people that you're proud of them. Let people know that you care. Um, and tell people, you know, really, truly how you feel. Don't be afraid that they will not reciprocate. Some people just are not at that level yet. And that's okay if they're not. It's not important what you receive back from that. It's important what you put out for them in that moment. And if you truly do care about somebody and love them, it's so important at this time on this plane or planet that we let people know we need to start building the faith and the love again. We have gone through a period that has been quite difficult and filled with fear. We need to bring back the faith and we need to tell each other exactly the good things about them. And if you cannot find a good thing, and there is a good thing about everybody, there is a good thing about every single person. So make sure even if it's just something about what they're wearing or about how they're walking or carrying themselves or their smile, make sure you are telling people good things about them and allow them to move into 90 seconds. that space of having that uh, faith again. This is very important at this time on this plane to start to rebuild the structure and to connect souls again. It is imperative that you help us to reconnect the souls on 60 seconds. Okay, everybody. Um, that was channeling from the angels. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the show. I love every single one of you so stinking much. And I cannot wait until the next show. I will talk with all of you soon. Thank you.